Washing job? Are you Chef Rodriguez? Call me Sully. You must be the FNG, huh? You speak any Spanish? Uh, not particularly, no, but I suppose I could. That's fine, that's fine. You can work with that. Is this your first time in a kitchen? Uh, no, I used to bust tables at my parents' restaurant back home. It's gonna be farther from what I asked for. Can you at least handle a knife? Yeah, I suppose in a jiff. Yeah, I could, but... I don't understand why I need to know how to use a knife. Aren't I here to wash dishes? Yeah, but you're working in my kitchen now. And in my kitchen, you need to be versatile. You see, Antoine's my grill man, but if I tell him to start chopping onions, he's chopping onions. Omar's my salad man, but if I tell him to unclog the men's restroom, he's jumping in there with a plunger, no questions asked. I see Dan. Dan's my pasta man, but if I tell him to suck my dick, he's gonna suck me dry. Fuck you, chef. Yeah, fuck you too, Dan. But the point is that you need to be able to multitask. The more you're able to do, the more valuable you are to me as an employee. You understand? Uh, yeah, yeah, de definitely. I'm, I'm in. That's good, man. Chef, ya llegó la orden de la carne. Gracias. Listen, I gotta take this. Your shift starts today at 5 p.m., not a second later. Bring an old shirt and an apron. You got that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. Good man. Hey, look who it is. The fucking new guy, right on fucking time. Listen, I'm sorry I'm late, it's just... I had a final and, and I fell asleep hey, on my hey, desk and... new guy, shut the fuck up. I don't care what your excuse is. All I know is that you're 30 minutes late on your first fucking day of work. Now, put your shit in the back, get your ass over here and start scrubbing my pots. Got it? Good. Don't you be such an asshole. What? What was that? Did, did I just detect some utterance of unhappiness of some sort? I mean, it's, it's not even like the place is busy, and I'm sorry I'm late, but it's my first day, and it's not even that big a deal, so I'd appreciate it if you just cut me a break, okay? Oh no, it is a big deal. You want to know why it's a big deal? Because this is my kitchen, and you are working in my kitchen. Now, if I tell you to be here at 5 p.m., I don't want you here at 5.30. Fuck, I don't even want you here at 5. I want you here at 4 fucking 50, you syphilitic, curry-munching, raghead piece of shit. Do I make myself clear? Dude, you need to calm down. I need to calm down, huh? All right, yeah, oh, shit, so calm, calm down. down. No, fuck you, I'm not gonna let this little fuck tell me how to run my kitchen. Look, I highly suggest you head to the back and get changed, all right, kid? Cocky little freak! You all right, kid? I don't get it. He seemed calm enough this morning, and then all of a sudden he becomes an ass. Well, that's because he hasn't had a stove all day. He had to quit because his wife got pregnant. Wait, wait a minute, you're, you're telling me that someone married that asshole and then stayed around long enough to get knocked up? Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> I'm Paul, by the way. Yeah, I know. I'm Daniel. Daniel Norville. I'm the pasta guy. So, 
is it safe enough to go back up there? Or? Yeah, so it's cool. You calm down a bit. But uh, there's a couple ground rules I gotta lay down before you get your ass killed up there, man. Like what? Like don't go pissing off the boss. I know it's fun, but but Sully's cranky and tyrannical, and not to mention he happens to run this shit. So if you keep him happy, you keep all of us happy, all right? Yeah. And yeah. and make sure you address him as chef, like yes chef, no chef, fuck you chef, etc. All right? I got it. And don't call people assholes, cause that's not nice. Call me a raghead. Then call him a wetback. Or a crackhead, mighty cone, whatever the fuck. Just don't stand there looking all defensive, trying to justify yourself. It's just kind of sad. You take it and then you dish it back. That's how it works in this kitchen. Just two rules. Don't talk about anybody's wife and you don't call anybody an asshole. Because them is fighting words. Alright? Right, right. Alright. So... First thing you do when Sully cusses you out again, and this nigga's gonna cuss you out again. You just look at him, you stand up, you look him in the face, and you say, hey, fuck you, chef. Right in his face. Right in his face? Right in his face. All right? Let's get to work. Come on. Oh, hey, new guy. Next time you piss me off, Dan and I here are gonna drop it to your knees and just go fuck you in the eyes. Got it? Hey, Chef! Fuck you! Hey kid, go work tonight. Why are you still here? Just grabbing a bite to eat before I head home, man. That's cool. You looking for somebody? Yeah, D do you know if Sully's around? Yeah, he's in the bar, why? Yeah, I just think I'm having second thoughts about this whole dishwashing gig, that's all. Already? I just... I don't think the restaurant business is right for me. I just don't like getting my hands dirty. There's nothing wrong with getting your hands dirty, man. See this? See this council right here? 
This is from years and years of working with a knife. Rubbing it in the same spot over and over again. You know, if I shake another cook's hand, he knows I'm a cook because of this callus. And I know he's a cook because of his callus. We all got it. It's like, it's like a membership card to like a culinary fraternity or something. And I wouldn't give it up for anything in this world. Nothing. I mean, I know it's not the prettiest occupation in the world. I know what kind of shit world we dwell in. It's messy, it's dirty. It attracts the fringe outcasts of society and it's fucking insane sometimes, I know. But, I don't know what I would do if I woke up tomorrow morning and I wasn't a cook anymore. You know? I don't think I've loved anything that much before. You will. Someday. See you tomorrow, Dan. Alright, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Everybody gets it harder sometimes.